to make an ocean in a bag. Look at my sparkly ocean. We're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need to squeeze some hair gel into a bowl. It's really gooey. Yep, very gooey. Then you want to drop some blue food coloring into the gel. Just put in a few drops. You can always add more if you want to. Then you mix the food coloring and the hair gel together. Once your water is mixed, you're ready to make the rest of your ocean. First, you'll need a plastic bag. I'm adding some rice to make it look like sand. Now I'm gonna add some sea animals. Me too. I'm gonna add a little pink crab. I'm adding a turtle and a cute little fishy. These are just little plastic toys. You can use plastic grass for seaweed or kelp. I'm gonna use some cray paper for seaweed. Me too. If you want to, you can scrunch some of your paper up to make it look more like seaweed. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. I like sparkly water. Important tip, do not put anything sharp in the bag. If you do, it will pop the bag. Once you have everything inside, then it's time to put your water in. Can you hold it back for me? Sure. Ooh, it's goopy. Can you hold my bag open? Sure. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need. And then you have to seal the bag. There you go. And then you mush stuff around. Oh, it feels like cool water on a hot day. It feels so mushy and fun. You just keep squishing to mix everything together. I put in a manta ray, some seaweed, and a dolphin. It really looks like the ocean, just much more sparkly and glittery. Swim, Mr. Turtle, swim. And, and that's, that's how you make an ocean in a bag. How to make frozen yogurt bites. I love to make my own recipes. And today we're making frozen yogurt bites. We're gonna show you how to make them so you can play too. First you need plain yogurt. Let's put a little bit of yogurt into our bowls. You can use something to sweeten it like honey or jam. Now let's mix the sweeteners in. The honey stirs in really fast. Mine's changing color with the jam. And then you add fruit, like blueberries or strawberries. I'm putting in strawberries. Me too. You can add nuts for something crunchy, like pistachios or almonds. Mmm, I love almonds. It's going to make it really crunchy. Once your yogurt is mixed, you're ready to put it in the ice cube tray. You have to make sure you do it really slowly so it fits in. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mmm, tastes so good. I bet it'll taste even better when it's frozen. The cool thing is, if you make a little bit at a time, you can make a different recipe to fill up your tray. New bowls for the new recipe. We're starting with our yogurt again. Then we're gonna put in our sweeteners. I'm using strawberry jam for this one. My bowl's turning pink. This time I'm gonna put in some blueberries. Wow, this one's gonna be really full of stuff. I'm cutting my blueberries so it will mix in. Now I'm putting in pistachios and almonds. Once your tray is filled up, you're ready to put it in the freezer. The best thing to do is let it freeze overnight. So, good night. Good morning. Let's try our frozen yogurt. These are the ones we made earlier, frozen and ready to eat. I'm gonna choose this one because this one looks like it has honey. I think the recipe is super cool because you can make frozen yogurt bites any way you want. 
Mine has jam, strawberries, and pistachios. I think this has honey, strawberries, and pistachios. Mmm, this tastes really good. Mm, that was super yummy. And, and that's, that's how you make frozen yogurt bites. How to make sand art. We're making beautiful sand art today. We're gonna show you how to do it so you can play too. First, you need a plastic bag, a piece of sidewalk chalk, and some salt. Pour about a cup of salt into your bag. Now you'll need some chalk. Pick the color you want and put that piece of chalk in the bag too. Then you zip it back up and then rub. Rub the salt and chalk together. The salt is scratchy on the chalk. It causes the chalk to break apart in teeny tiny pieces. Those little pieces mixed with the salt becomes your sand. The more you rub, the darker the color of the sand would be. Once the salt is the color you want, you can pour it into a bowl. These are some sands we made earlier and we're gonna show you how to pour it. First, you'll need a recycled water bottle. It can be glass or plastic. Next, you'll need a funnel. You put the funnel on the top of the water bottle so you can pour the sand into the funnel and it comes into the water bottle. Now, you're gonna need some small cups to scoop the sand up. Need about a half of these little cups. You can choose whatever color you want. You can do it in a pattern or you can make it random. My turn. Now I'm adding blue. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue because I want it to make a whole layer. Now I'm gonna put some green in. Last but not least, some pink. I'll fill about half a cup of it. I'm adding a little bit more so it looks better. Now I'm gonna tilt it to make it even. You just keep on layering the colors you want. And then at the end, you'll have a colorful sand masterpiece. There we go. We'll just shake it a little bit to make it a little even. Can we add a little bit more orange? Yeah. Why don't we add some pink? Okay. This is about to be full. Now you need to put the cap on. And that's how you make our masterpiece of sand art. How to make jiggly tea jellies. You want some dinner, baby jellyfish? Yeah, let's go get them. I'm gonna get some fish. I'm gonna get some octopus. We made Jiggly Wiggly Jellyfish. And we're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, we're gonna make our Papa Jellyfish. First, you need a bowl. Ask an adult to poke a hole in the bowl so you can thread your yarn through. The reason why you're doing this is so that you can hang your jellyfish up on the wall or just play with it. And then pull it out almost all the way. When you're done with that, you're going to tape it so that it can stay. Tape it on the inside so no one can see. And so that you can hang it like this. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to take markers or crayons and color the bowl with it so that your jellyfish can have some decoration. You can use any colors you want. I'm going to use a red, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pink crayon and I'm going to um, color on top of the red marker so that it's very colorful and bright. I think the coolest thing about jellyfish is they get tentacles and so they can spin you. And the last color I'm going to add is green. You can decorate it any way you want to, like she decorated it with squiggles and lines. And I just decorated it and colored it all the way. You can draw hearts, you can draw smiley faces, you can draw anything you want on it to just make it look pretty. And so what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna take two googly eyeballs and you're gonna use about this much glue 
and then you're gonna stick it on the circle that we drew on the plate. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this dark green to draw a smiley face. Jellyfish don't really have eyes, but they are cute. When you're done with all that decorating, you've got only half of your jellyfish done. Now we're gonna move on to the tentacles. You can use um, ribbon, you could use cut up newspaper strips, you can use cut up magazine strips, you can really use anything you want. Right here we have ribbon and shred paper. And we also have yarn. I'm going to put a blue piece. And you can use glue or tape to stick it on, but if you want it to dry faster, you should use tape. Once you've got your tentacles on, you've made your Jiggly Wiggly Pop of Jellyfish. Don't they look awesome? Ooh, it's so jiggly! Cause jellyfish don't have bones. <laughs> How do we get I spy bottle? Shh, we're playing spies. We're making I spy bottles. What's an I spy bottle? It's a bottle where you spy things. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, we're gonna make colorful rice. You're going to first need a plastic bag. And put in four to five pumps of hand sanitizer. I want to make my rice red. I'm making mine blue. Then put in four to five drops of food coloring. Two, three, four. And then you're going to put a cup of rice. And just put one cup. You need to zip your bag, and then you're going to put that rice and just swish it. Just really nice. It feels so mushy. <laughs> mushy, 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 mushy. Mine is all red now. Mine is blue. And then you need to dry your rice which will probably take an hour. You could just pour it into a bowl. This is the rice that we made earlier, and now it's dry, and now we're ready to make our I Spy bottle. And this bottle was old and recycled from sweet tea. So we're gonna have a clear bottle, a funnel, and here are some objects. So we're gonna get a scoop in the red. And the funnel makes the rice go through it, so then the rice will go into the bottle. Find some items to put inside the bottle. Here's some that we found. A paper clip, some candlesticks, some flowers, I added a blue ball. Okay, and now we're gonna write down what we just put on. We're gonna write things down so we can find them later. So now we're gonna get another scoop. So now we're gonna get the blue. This is gonna be nice and colorful. So I'm gonna put in the dice, and he's just gonna put it in the skateboard. I'm going to put in like the red rice, and then an object, and then the blue rice, and then an object, and then a green rice, and an object, and I just repeat it and repeat it until it's full enough. Okay, so now we're gonna put in an object. So I'm going to put in the guitar, and Daniel's going to put in... A whistle. The whistle. The whistle. Okay, so now to finish our rainbow. Now I'm going to put the cap on. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna shake it up so I can find the objects. I found the guitar. And that's how you make an ice spy bottle. <laughs>